Yo, Team Tweedy, what's going on? Welcome to episode 12 of Hashtag Ask Tweedy. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of cooking while I do this episode just because I'm a little bit stuck for time. I need to turn my phone off battery saver so that I keep these questions up. Uh, yeah, so I had training today. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want to keep it for the vlogs, but I did train with Crawley. And then tomorrow I have uh, a match lined up for Dorchester Town Reserves. And uh, also, the first team coach of Dorchester Town will be there, so that's seventh division. So that will be interesting. See what happens. Uh, I know some of you guys don't watch this video, but for my loyal hashtag Ask Tweety viewers, thank you for coming and watching this. Uh, that's why I'm giving you a bit of insight about the future. So let's crack on with it. Hey man, I have a question. Why do I always feel nervous before a match and get anxiety like after first half? So, I would say, I'm going to pick this one. So, for me, I sometimes get nervous. I remember the most nervous I got was when I played, uh, most nervous. Probably when I uh, went to a trial for Sydney FC, my first trial that day, I was super nervous to go there because I'm trying against these players who are essentially the best in the state. Oh, not the state, but the best in the area. And there were some very, very good players there. So it was something that was very tough. Uh, for me, I'd say I've changed my approach massively. My dad kind of... Uh, no offence to my dad. I love my dad. But he tried to sway my approach to matches. He tried to play pump-up music. Uh, he tried to make me sleep before the match. And that's when I was a bit younger. But now, like, I've said this so many times, like, I'd go into matches, trials, trainings, just chilled out, like, um, you know, I, I'm just calm about what's happening. If I get nervous, then I know that something's not right and I didn't prepare well enough. So I'd say if you're getting nervous in train... I turned on the wrong one. If you're getting... Oh. If you're getting nervous in trainings or matches or games or after the first half... Maybe you need to change your approach and don't do what I'm doing because that's not you. Just be yourself when you're leading into the games. If you need to listen to pump up music, do it. If you need to analyze a game before you go out to play, do it. Find your thing, experiment with things. Sometimes it might be that you need to have a shower three hours before. I remember one time back in Australia, I had these short skins and they were skin colored and I wasn't sure whether I would wear them or not because the refs might make me take them off. So I, went, I had them and I had them on for the warm up and then after the warm up I was like, oh look I'm not going to risk it, I don't want to wear them and have the ref tell me to take it off because we had some problems with that during the season. So I was like, man, I'm just going to take them off and that game I played so well. So then the next weeks I put my skins on for the warm up, then took them off when we got into the change room ready to go out for the match and I continued to play well. And so that's something that for me, I just felt like I played better doing that. Um, it's just all about the mind. And that's like, that's so silly. I said, well, it's a, oh, what's the word? Whoops. Uh, it's, I can't think of the word. No, nah, I've lost it. But it's about mental stuff. So try, and, try new things, maybe a shower, maybe a different type of lunch before you go, maybe a different breakfast. And then once you feel like you play a good game, stick with that routine. Maybe it's getting to bed eight hours earlier. Maybe you need a six hour sleep. I have no idea. Just try things. That's how I would go about it. Second question. Do you believe in training for 10,000 hours? If so, why? So this one's an interesting one. I do and I don't because I believe ten, the 10,000 hour rule is great. Uh, it pushes a lot of people to train things, but... When you look at football, there's so many complex actions that you would have to spend 10,000 hours on every single thing to be the best. So you'd have to spend 10,000 hours passing with your left foot, 10,000 hours passing with your right foot, 10,000 hours shooting with your left foot, etc, etc, 10,000 analyzing games, 10,000 hours, I don't know, whatever. So I think there's just too many aspects in football to say, 10,000 hours or 40 hours a week or three hours a day. I think it's there's so much information, not only on the field, but the analysis, understanding the game. 
so in the sense, I believe that you need a lot of training. Uh, yes, I do think the 10,000 hour rule is great, but I don't think you should limit yourself to 10,000 hours because uh, at the end of the day, if you want to be the best player, if you want to be a great player, you have to put more hours into it uh, than just 10,000, which is a lot. I would say, I don't know, maybe that's something interesting to ask my dad whether I've done 10,000 hours. I'm sure I have. Um, but, you know, I'm nowhere near the level that I want to be. So I need to do another, I don't know, thousands and thousands of hours before I'm anywhere close to that. Um, so yeah, in a sense, I do agree with it. In another sense, not really. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Some other, some people have an opinion that, yeah, 10,000 hours. Uh, but I think most people would agree there's no real number to it because, uh, you know, Messi has put in a lot more hours than Mbappe and, 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 oh my goodness. And Mbappe is still a very good player. Of course, he's nowhere near the level of Neymar, but he's put in a lot less hours than Neymar just because of his age. So it's interesting how that works. Third and final question. What do you do when you feel lazy or procrastinate? Good question. Ooh. I don't feel like I get lazy anymore. I used to when I was younger uh, in high school, like playing video games, playing FIFA. Uh, look, I think, whoops. Uh, now, I, if I get lazy, it's because I'm exhausted from training and I need rest time. But back in high school, primary school, I always tried to do as much training as I could. I got a little bit lazy at one point not so long ago, and that was a di bit disappointing. What did I do to change it? I, I basically just made a schedule for myself so I knew what I needed to complete every single day. I think that helped a lot in making sure that I was always improving. And that's not to say, I wasn't making the schedule ridiculous, like, actually, I'll tell you the exact schedule. So, we would play on a Sunday, for example, play the match, I'd rest, and then Monday, I would go down to a light session, maybe 40 minutes, just very, very light, juggling over the post, jogging around the oval, just to loosen up my legs. I would train on Monday night with Manly. Tuesday, I think I... I think Tuesday was like a rest day altogether. I can't quite remember. I, no, I went to the gym to do like an upper body. Wednesday, I would uh, have a, go to the gym in the morning, upper body again, so back or something. And then uh, later in the day, I had a tough manly session, so I had to be ready for that. Thursday, I did a leg session and football sprints. And then Friday, uh, another rest day. And depending on what day we trained, I might go down to the park and do something else. But look, the most important thing, I see this so much, is players want to... I had someone actually message me the other day saying, I, sh I forget whether he said I should or he does, but he said that he goes and does an hour of like ball work and technical skills before his team training session. And I said to him, I don't think that's the right thing because the team training sessions are where it's most related to a football match. That's where you're going to get the most out of every session because I need to find something. One sec, one sec. That's where you're going to get the most out of the sessions and you're going to improve the most because think about it. Football isn't about how well you can dribble. Well, I guess it is, but you still need to be under you still need to understand how to play the game. Uh, and team training sessions uh, is what's most related to that. And on top of that, if you're not performing in your team training sessions, you're either going to get dropped from the team, dropped to the bench, but if you're doing well, you're either going to keep your starting spot or you're going to come off the bench into a starting position. So I think a lot of players look at team training session and go, oh, I didn't touch the ball as much. It's, you know, we did fitness. But if you put 100% into those sessions, that's where you're really going to improve. And I think a lot of you guys need to be taking those sessions a lot more serious. That's just my opinion because... Just from the messages I get, I think a lot of players, you know, you guys just look at it and kind of put it to the side. Uh, and you try, it's not that you prioritize your uh, individual training, but you look at your team training and go, okay, I'm not getting the most out of it. 
Uh, I'm going to spend more hours doing individual training, if that makes sense. Like, you're going to put more effort into your individual training because you think you improve more that way. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think you should be putting a lot more effort into your team training sessions because, like I said, it's related to the game. So, anyway, guys, that is going to conclude episode 12 of Hashtag Ask Tweety. I need to finish off making my food. We got some bolognese. Well, I'm making bolognese. We got the mint and everything. Couple of... Oh my goodness, couple of exciting vlogs ahead for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway, Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join the hashtag Ask Tweety family. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Yes.